And test this new screwed up slobs I, because I, I am depressed. <laughs> don't know if it's gonna work, how it's gonna work, why it's gonna work. <coughs> and there goes automatic gain control when I don't have any automatic gain control. <laughs> not my fault, man. I know it's not your fault. I don't even <laughs> have it as an option anymore. It's all your fault, man. All your fault. Oh, wait, Technical we need music. Difficulties. I, I, I got it. Ready, getting ready to go live. Hmm, that was interesting. <clears throat> In game music. Quiet on the set. <coughs> cough, cough. Zoom Room Video Communications brought to you by the BMC. Quiet on the set! You're listening to WRFB, a Radio Free Britannia, and this is Lunch! Coming to you live from Deltona, Florida, here are the dynamic duo themselves, Laz and Jack. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we question our own life choices on a daily basis and try to decide whether or not are we doing this properly. I don't uh, know. Are, are we doing it properly? Aren't we supposed I, to be like eating all sorts of like gourmet tidbits and things like that and yeah no well, is uh you're supposed to be eating lunch and taking that precious time to catch up on today's news oh, welcome yeah. to today's show boys and girls it is thirsty thursday otherwise known as friday junior i thought it was right. titty thursday that titty Thursday, Twitter Thursday, whatever kind of Thursday you want it to be. Yeah. And uh, August 22nd, 2019, for the record. And uh, QA is up. Is uh, We're, what, one week or two weeks out now? We're a week out from release. Jack's favorite release. 69. 69 that's right release 69 is a week away qa is up haven't i've downloaded it i haven't had a chance to actually log in and uh do anything yet you playing mm -hmm. over there <clears throat> yeah, am i playing yeah yes. i'm playing i'm not hearing anything why is that there we i go. don't know but but lily's decided that she she wants to come over from the bed and jump in my lap. As yeah, she's like I, I, I hear her begging yeah. to come on up and uh, make her daily, semi-daily appearance. Her, her Here, whenever I feel like it, I'm going to jump butt. in Jack's lap and and sit there, <laughs> chew on the desk. Um, Pull your microphone cord out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She hasn't. I mean, she she hasn't done that in a while. But yeah, Lily that's a is good here. thing. <sighs> yeah, she she she's a so she's taken to sleeping on top of me now. You think? Yeah, it, it, it's pretty funny. It's like yesterday I I I I, I napsturbated and uh, yeah, uh, I, I saw that not <laughs> once but twice. <laughs> and you, you have to use it as an example in a sentence, right? Yeah, and so uh, I, I, I couldn't. I Can couldn't you get up. Please use that in a sentence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and she was sleeping so, on my legs, and so it's like, crap. I'm just gonna have to stay in bed. Yeah, I hate when that happens. 
I know. It's like <clears throat> I, she's trying to turn me into a cat that sleeps 18 hours a day. <laughs> I, I, I don't have any problems with this. It's like, um, yeah. Now she's decided that she doesn't want him in my lap anymore. That's too funny. Yeah, for, she, for she's like the done next forty-five for seconds. Of course, well, she, do, she saw uh, something on the ground that she wanted to just investigate. Get the giveaway open early today, so I don't forget and uh, get that to you guys <clears throat> and gals. Also, coming towards the end of the month, gotta remind you about our monthly giveaway. You get a chance to win either this wireless Qi charger or 500 gold crowns, your choice or not, Yay. depending on where you live. And, uh, of course, all you got to do is be a subscriber, be a patron at the $5 level or more, or have donated 500 bits at a time. And we've got a list we keep. We got all sorts of lists for all this stuff, so... Uh, and you'll be entered into the end of the month race, or it's the beginning of the month when I have to do it after I pull the end of the month, you all get the drift. But uh, thanks to all your support, we're able to now do crazy giveaways like this. Last month, Buckaroo Banzai actually took that partially used roll of electrical tape. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he, I'm uh, telling you. Uploaded he, a video to Pornhub. <laughs> Is he, so, he, he wanted the bragging <laughs> rights to that. <laughs> Econdus, when I first looked at that, I was like, man, is that a dildo? And then I clicked on the image, and it's like, yeah, no, that's just a, that's just a bomb, uh, a pipe. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty damn funny. Yep. It's making the usual announcements real quick here, letting folks yeah. know. Oh, oh, oh. That we are live and they can come join us. Of course, with the QA comes some early release notes. Uh, not much uh -huh. there right now. And again, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I Wh know what's there? continual development uh, du jour, you know. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I can mean, just do a search for release or for 68. I mean, just that way, in case they do like R68 or something like that. Um, but you end up seeing that, uh, this was patched into release 68 comes up 11 times in the notes. 11 times. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually, uh, do all that. I just, of course, yeah. uh, took a quick peruse because, uh, again, I noticed the QA was up, uh, to, yeah, this morning when I got up and took a look downloaded it and then i said oh shit well there should be some some kind of notes here but uh yeah the, the uh very first note in particular i like uh just what? uh because Despair. i i can't wait to see what this is because of the type of monsters or npcs uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. here so so these like, without <laughs> Further ado, like our newest unfinished dungeon, our newest unfinished dungeon, which uh, is only partially completed, is rumored to be the most challenging area in the game. It is full of the highest tier spiders, polar bears, dragons, and obsidians. This includes two new variants: the polar mutilator bears and ferocious warp spiders. You have been warned that these mobs will not actually have animations and will sit there and stand there uh, for a while uh, until now, now. that bug is resolved. <clears throat> we haven't even seen them yet. Don't go No, we haven't. Them. But, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. That was a little spiders, premature. Spiders, bear, polar bears, not just regular bears, dragons. Polar mutilator. Yeah. And obsidian. So is this going to be like <clears throat> the ice dungeon we had back in uo that it merits polar bears um well i, I just don't see you know a, a, cer a certain snake needs to make a comeback oh well yes absolutely <clears throat> um th snake. this game is seriously lacking a, a a silver serpent um that will kill you in like three seconds 
giant rats, headless. I know, it, mong yeah. bats. I yeah, mean, it's like, bats, yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and don't forget, uh, it is that time of year again that the that comet is returning with a number of unusual side effects on local fauna. The creatures of many regions have become bolder and more ferocious, including unicorns, wyverns, and the, the like. Unicorns and wyverns are not similar, so what is the like? Further, several variant anomalies have appeared, including Aether Dragons, Aether Liches, and Aether Corpions. If traveling across the wilderness uh, was mildly dangerous before, now it will be swiftly fatal for most adventurers. Various townsfolk are talking about this phenomena now. <laughs> and hello to Seldom. Hello, folks. Yes, uh, Sean Butts wants to know, is a polar bear just a bear dancing around the pole? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Um, that is exactly what a polar bear is. <laughs> it, it it has nothing to do with its whitish skin um, and living in a, a cold environment. Nothing to do with those at all. We give a shout out to Venetrix out there. Of course, Buckaroo, Bonsai, and Twilight Tempest joining us today. Crafty and, Method. Uh, Crafty Method. also wants to include that it's only if you tip it. Only if you tip it. Just the tip. Just the tip. That's right. Um, That's yeah. right. But now, I, I got a question now. Last year, the very first time the comet appeared, didn't it leave behind? I mean, isn't the Aether Dragon still available out there in the world and the Aether Scorpion uh, still out there in the world throughout the rest of the year i, th I thought they were but maybe they maybe were I'm well wrong. well the aether creatures were in the uh the scene that disappears and comes back every few days so okay it actually every few did. hours yeah i thought the uh, aether the, dragon that was, the was a dragon that would also rotate in but they do 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 it to, yeah. do do yeah do do it um uh yeah in the rotation okay i got it I got it. Um, so, out in Exeter, the satyrs now have additional common responses to conversations about the region, pilgrims, and xenos, etc. Congratulations. Um, thank you for finally adding some dialogue to the town's uh, occupants. Thank you. Thank you. Much needed. This part of the uh, fixing the system so that we'll be able to yeah. eventually add some stuff. Now, hey, uh, not not only hmm. that, they also did some quest bug fixes, which uh, fixed they fixed various bugs with quests, bug. including a blocker to the lens quest, which is part of your Shroud of the Avatar. Um, some issues in the Valhold Palace in the Courage quest line, typos, and more. Congratulations! Congratulations! Yay! Indeed. Fix Maybe those someone... bugs. Yeah, bugs. Yeah, yeah. Except my challenge. <laughs> you know that's not going to happen. Oh, I'm, I'm aware. <clears throat> it's like a, I, can, I can at least pay for my car insurance. Um, and then some scene bug fixes. They fixed various bugs with pathfinding, floating Bug. assets, inaccessible resource nodes, and more. More! Now, you remember how List told us that there was a, a super secret... Uh, thing that they are doing with AI. We don't know what it was. Um, we just had to well, sit there and figure it out. It wasn't super secret. They were making a pass to update, fix, Something. modify, yeah. whatever. It's just they're working on something that we just don't know about because yeah, no notes. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think it's in the, the combat notes for one creature. Um, but, uh, the, go ahead. It Aether creatures that are returning, um, that's the return of the Aether Lichards, Scorpions, and Aether Dragons. Uh, the Aether Corpion is going to be able to be found in the Desert Encounter, Northwest Blackblade Mountain, Sunless Barrens, The Fall, The Rise, and Winds Folly. Aether Dragon out in the Plains Encounter, South Grunvold Barrens, Northwest Blackblade Mountains. Uh, the Aether Lich out in Pinmore Island, Deep Ravenswood, Sawtooth, Thicket, and The Fall. 
Whereas the Polar Mutilator. Mutilator. Love the name. This is a faster, meaner polar bear meaner. with glowing, glowing red eyes. It's got pink eyes, so that's why it's a little frustrated. <laughs> um, you went out with Jack. So, 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 someone farted in its <laughs> eye. Um, yeah. Um, that has moon and water magic resistance. Plus two levels of enrage. They can be found in this battle. Uh, the Ferocious Warp Spider. This tougher spider has a teleport attack and a massive focus drain attack. And they can be found in Despair. Interesting. Uh, th that right there is the AI in enhancements. Okay, well, we'll see, we'll see how that Yes, uh, I did affects. know that. <clears throat> And if we were friends on Facebook, Crafty, you would have actually seen that um, a group of crows will gather around a, a murder uh, of crows. A, a murder of crows will gather around a uh, one of their fallen friends, and that would be a murder investigation. <laughs> Not, not, not oh, yeah. a funeral. Nope, not a funeral. <laughs> Awake. A murder investigation. Murder investigation. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I love this shit. Uh, I tell yeah. you what. Bad now, puns. I, I wanna, around. I wanna jump totally off the rails here. Uh, and oh. Just get away from this for a moment because a couple other things. Uh, we do uh, get comments and stuff from you folks, uh, some of you folks out there on uh, yes. on YouTube and other media, but um, mostly on yeah. YouTube for you folks who... Uh, Late replies, <clears throat> yes. Yes. Now, uh, it, this is just a couple, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill in a few of the other ones here. Uh, first one up here, you got these ready? I guess I um, should try and bring that up front. So th this is the comments from the video last week. And sorry to the guy dealing with the Renaissance. Last time they they, he's, they stayed there, uh, they had sleep number of beds. Yes, this was just not last week. They go to, back to yeah. early this One week. day, two days. Yes. Yeah. Now... Nicole Miller also uh, commented that uh, didn't realize that we were on Facebook and the best thing to watch on my commute. So I'm hoping that Nicole is actually taking a train and not watching us while she's driving to work. So I don't see that comment. I know. I don't know why they didn't show up here, but they're in my summary over here. That's uh, why I'm adding uh, to them. Uh, okay. uh, Gerard Moore, the music in the background through this episode, it's maddening. It's mad. <laughs> Yes, I had uh, video killed the radio star on loop the on other loop? day. And uh, yes, it just went over and over. That was intentional. So just so you know, it might have been a little loud. But again, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> it was intentional. Um, just you know, having some fun with it. Um, Dark Blue Monkey. Uh, I'll let you take this because this was on, uh, I think you, he mentions Great uh, vid. If he doesn't already, Richard needs to know that the devs are being actively discouraged from playing the game. I don't believe for a nanosecond that Richard would condone a developer only coding and never actually seeing how their code is working. So much grind and so many unfun things to do. The sudden jump in the love path where you're doing fi just fine at adventure level 10 to 20, and then all of a sudden you need to be level 50 minimum uh, to do the tower mission is just crazy. Clearly, they don't play the path or they'd have more gradual quests, and the level up time from 20 to 50 would be far shorter. All these high value items like dungeons and mannequins only appeal to the whales, 
with large lots. They offer nothing to drawing in new blood and bringing in new money, and that's what the game really needs right now. I have two subs, and I'll keep them because I'm using them to slowly build up my Kodos to upgrade my little row lot. I'm around nine more months. Uh, and, but I'm, I'm concerned. You're 100% right. Stop making high-value, useless shit. Instead, focus making it fun, bug-free, and finished game to play. And followed by uh, Greg29407 with, this is the best episode ga you guys have done in quite a while. I agree with everything you said. I used to sev have seven subs. I'm down to one as of six months ago. And I question keeping that one each month. The idea that the people who make the game won't or can't actually play the game is ridiculous and completely explains why things are the way they are. Final quote that I get to see from Jared. Well, Jack's final belch as the screen goes black. Perfect timing. <laughs> and there's one one more from Jared. Uh, well, two more uh, from yeah. Jared below that. That, that I can't I see. That I can't see. Yeah. <clears throat> Is uh, greatest shit show on earth. Good <clears throat> times. Thank you, Jared. And uh, he loved the baton trick. It was hilarious. And he loves this train wreck of a show uh just some of our reader comments from the past week and uh i've always said i want to i want to share these with you guys so i'm going to try and incorporate these in a little bit more um as we get them and again uh great great hearing from you folks out there and uh, of course keep the comments coming uh, of course, when you're watching on YouTube or in replays, hit those like buttons, hit that notification button so that you know when the next episode's posted, usually by 3 o'clock every afternoon right after we finish up here. So you do usually don't have long to wait to get in on the replay action. So thanks again to all of you. Now, Ekondis, uh was it Ekondis? I just put the link in Discord you, there just a minute ago. <clears throat> Buckaroo Bonsai! Thank you very much. There we go. It is the train wreck. Uh, custom oh, yeah. load scenes for POT. I don't actually have this clip. I, I'm, uh, I'm Yeah, I don't know what actually, time it actually happened at. I, but. I do have this clip. It's the last clip. But let's get this post on screen first, and then oh. we'll go to the clip. Balatar Pathfinder just subscribed. Balatar, thank you for the yeah. sub. Yeah. And that means so that a game of marbles has been oh, oh, triggered. Wait, which wreck. means I actually have to Bro. back out of my hidden game. <laughs> I, I, I have to back out of the hidden game. This and like Balatar... He, well, I actually showed everybody the, the screen as I did it. Um, you get to pick um, something between 1 and 50. And these are all the maps that you see as it scrolls through randomly. Just say a number 1 through 50. And we will play that map on my stream. Play some marbles. Oh, yeah. And Balatar wants to play map number 10. Which is a leap to a remember. A leap to remember. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Exclamation play on both streams. Double your chances to win. Of course, if you guys win, you get some scrolls. If we win, you all gotta send Jack some oh, scrolls. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah, don't worry about uh, sending him uh, any scrolls. Yeah. Don't worry. The only person that has recently was Caffeine. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and click start in three, two, one. Start! Yes, absolutely. Oh, look for your name. So while we're doing that, we're going to jump back to the post Ooh, by Ekondas here. Is, uh, guess what? I mentioned this during Chris's scream yesterday at the end when he was talking about using the heraldry system for other purposes. And a few people got some custom text in their POT load screens. 
who knows? Maybe the custom images will happen down the road now. Uh, we do have a little oh. clip of this coming up. We'll play that yeah. after yeah, Marvel. Yeah. Uh, I believe Lancel was actually. Lancel, were you one of the people who actually got that uh, custom load screen? Did I see that right? Yes, yes, she it was. was. And uh, we'll have to go visit Lancel's uh, town to see that ourselves. Maybe we'll even leave the lot today. But meanwhile, we're getting ready to race right here on stream. Good luck to everybody as we yes. head on down the track. And let, let's let's turn names back on. Yeah, it helps, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it's like as I alt-tab or out of the game you, you know how it, it completely loses everything the real question we got is mom and crafty method ejected coming first. into the infinity loops and we'll see who's uh -huh. first one to come out and get thank you balatar let's see see i i alt tabbed lost names and I had to bring them back but i somehow am in the lead currently along with crafty right behind me as we jump into the blue hole and we go the deep, deep hole. down the blue hole. Mom's made it past uh -oh. the hole and she's... Venetrix! Uh, Venetrix as... Venetrix, Necronut. Venetrix ejected well as, uh, on this side. Mom Lancel ejected. Someone else that Necronut. And number one and two on our screen... On my stream is me and you. Oh, wait, you just fought, fell to fourth. Oh. oh. Mom giving still, Necro Nut a run for the money here, and uh, these curves are getting a little tricky. Let's see who makes it out the bottom first. Mom just slipped on by, but now we come into the colander, and Mom drops first. Necro Nut drops behind. Incre uh, oh, now oh, we're oh, on oh. the ejector board. Shit! I just got ejected out. <laughs> okay. Looks look, like look, mom's look. gonna make it unscathed. Yes. Ooh. Here, here goes Crafty. Let's see what's gonna happen to him. Is he gonna make it through the ejector board? Oh, oh, and oh! And mom with the win. Y you know what's even scarier? Laz one, <laughs> so that means it is time for everybody to send me scrolls. Congratulations, mom! And of course, Crafty don't forget seconds. exclamation! I love free shit. Gonna close out the giveaway. Giveaways, giving away. Yeah, the giveaway is for a merits fitness and yoga emote because I've just got loads of those, and uh, why not? Use those as giveaways. Mom, yes. using one of the new new balls I've got. Oh. Mom, using my new balls. Gotta love uh, it. Is it a blue ball? It's an eyeball. Oh. Okay, so we were going to go to Chris's stream at yes. the... Uh, 48 minute mark. Yeah. Get to this 48 somewhere. minutes and 30 seconds. Correct. This is his stream from yesterday. And um, uh, if you don't know what he's doing is he's okay, um, for the, making it the so that way that a dark lamp logged, can so actually project yours. images. And he's customizing shit for the syndicate. <clears throat> yeah, we'll play all that we'll, stuff. We'll, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into it more I, details actually though, this that. wasn't the clip i wanted it was further on down the line why is this oh, oh, oh. that's not the one you wanted um, i don't know Let, let's let's see what this clip is here is uh the one i was talking about was actually all the way down yeah at like well, 15 you, you, you minutes posted, to the end you, you posted forty-eight thirty twice yeah, it, di it didn't take where it was supposed to be on that last one. Mm -hmm. That was a repost. Well, and let me well, see well, if I can... tell me the time. I gotta get there. Hold on. 11030. Uh, one... Yeah, that's about it, I believe. 11030. 
Okay. I Which see is... if I can get there. A you actually, that is owner? only yeah. uh, 11 minutes till the end. So you probably, if you said about 15 minutes, let's just go uh, 105. You want to have some type of custom load message? There it Let is. Hold on. It's uh, about 110. See if that's right. Uh, and that's another one. If you people want, I, I don't know. If you are a pot owner and you want to have some type of custom load message, let me know. I'm out in there. Uh, I may need to make these a little bit brighter. All Should right. Let me go from right where we're at here. This should uh, suffice. I'm at 110. Is that the right time? I'm going to give you this one. 110.08. Oh, okay. okay. And we'll, we'll load from there. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and hit play in 3, 2, 1. Play. Your longer projection distance. Uh, but that's kind of what I'm doing, and that's the other thing, in case you missed it, was I've already looked into doing this for the uh, heraldry, so you can have a heraldry projector or something like this. I'll probably want to get art that is not the exact same piece of art again, and like for these, I will probably uh, go and put some different materials on them to change the look a little bit before I put them live. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to look to get a heraldry projector that's something like this. that will be a nice heraldry projector. And uh, not sure I'll get that for R69, but again, it feels pretty safe. And it's something we've done a bunch, so I think it should be easy to swap out. I do like the idea of letting you guys put the, your art in game, kind of like how we do the heraldry stuff, but let you give you different canvases that you can put stuff on. Uh, and maybe that is just we do give you some, uh, you know, we use the heraldry system to let the heraldry be on stuff other than just, you know, a cloak or whatever have a painting you can craft so you can place heraldry on your your uh, painting and then you guys can put your own art in there but yeah mix up what heraldry is on so it's not just on banners and cloaks and the front of your armor and your shield we already have it on barrels and chests and other stuff like that seems like it'd be great to put it on some art stuff so you can put up your heraldry on art uh, and other things again guys Ooh, custom pot load screen Ooh, that's a nice idea <clears throat> uh, and that's another one if you people want if you are a pot owner and you want to have some type of custom load message let me know think up your custom load message uh, and uh, let me know I'm, I'm not committing to do any more work before I get back from my trip uh, but that's one that is again super safe it's just changing a string I'll gladly do a pot uh, custom load message for you guys i'm not sure what the rules are for it you kind of see i it's one of those things we've had the tech for forever and i think there's only like a couple games maps in game that actually use it like i when i built the rise i like put a custom message in for it loading to your doom it's it's that type thing so it's not going to be like your whole scene thing but it'll be some really short thing so let's see You sent an email to see about that? Let's see. Where's that loading? Yep, there's a load message. There's nothing there. Uh, yeah, and that's it's just no load message. There's load message. There's HUD message. We can change all those things. And we don't let you guys change any of them. You can, uh, I'll tell you what, Z and Grumpy, if you want to tell me yours now, I'll put it in there. Again, I don't think it can be that long, so don't think you're giving me, like, some poem or some junk like that. And Grumpy, what's your, what's your pot name? Grumpyville? Grumpyville. <clears throat> Crab. Never. All right, anyway. Gate. Yep. 
All right, so that's now apparently a thing. Of course, uh, I'm, I'm gonna expect that Chris is gonna get flooded with a whole bunch of those requests because uh, we'll we'll go check that out to uh, Lancel. What is your town name, just so uh, we know to go check it out? Yep. Maybe eventually we'll be able to change our, uh, if you're a POT owner, change your, your text. <clears throat> Lancer Main Stronghold is her, uh, her POT name. Okay, we'll go check that out later. And yeah. go see that. But meanwhile, yes, uh, many of you guys and gals may know, let's uh, do the giveaway first. Let's close this out and pick ourselves a wiener. Oh... And Lancel Lancermain is the winner of uh, those emotes. Congratulations. And we're going to go ahead and reset that. We'll give away another set for the end of the show. And exclamation, I love free shit. Get in on a chance to win some of those emotes. But, uh, oh, yeah. yes. <clears throat> Moving right along, Chris is uh, Chris and Beezus are going to uh, SinCon uh, in Las Vegas, and uh, Chris had some interesting commentary. Uh, Jack, I, I know you you like to fly on the cheap. Uh, have you ever flown Spirit? You broke up. What have I ever flown? Have you ever flown Spirit? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cheap bastard, but I'm not yeah, blind well, Is uh, I, I'm going to wish him some luck on this, but uh, yeah, uh, let's let's go to the first clip because I just I just thought it was funny as hell. Um, and uh, I just had a laugh on this because. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh jeez! Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Are, oh, yeah. we're, we're going to the w one you commented. Uh, the yep, yep that's uh, the one. White trash and uh, yeah. <clears throat> yes. Okay, I'm, I'm making white, sure. Well, you I'm can say it. Right white trash and prostitutes because uh, okay. Oh, he's okay. he's the oh, one okay. who says it. <laughs> Yeah, I not, just not paraphrase either. him, but uh, this this is just <laughs> funny about uh, you know how yeah, they're where, traveling. Yeah, where staying? And and yeah, well, just we'll we'll, we'll play it here because it's funny okay. as hell. Let, let's go ahead and hit play in three, two, one, play. Since that's uh, what that is about, uh, the hotel I'm staying at. Again, if you're wondering if, if we're budget, I am staying at. Uh, uh, oh man, I forgot. Uh, Excalibur. Uh, Excalibur. I refer to it also as uh, White Trash in King Arthur's Court. It is like one of the cheaper hotels on the Strip, uh, but it's good location and it's not horrible. Uh, yeah. For those who don't know, there's like it's I forget what the chain is that owns it, but they have three hotels side by side by side, and it's Mandalay Bay. That's the nice one. Uh, that's where they have a uh, uh, full nude section of the pool. I can't go there, unfortunately. Uh, they have the Luxor, yes, Cypher 1, Black Snows, and then that's in the middle one, and that's also the middle quality, and then on the end they have Camelot, Excalibur, uh, that is cheap. <laughs> yeah, and if you're talking about the, watching the, uh, prostitutes leave in the morning, I think there's equal number in each hotel. It will be leaving. It's just how much you want to look at them. <laughs> Probably a little better, a little more attractive down in the Mandalay Bay. Just saying. Now, I'm just curious how he knows uh, about the nude swimming pool that he can't go to. And 
They're standing out <laughs> front of the hotels in the morning watching prostitutes leave, but uh, I, I'm guessing yeah. that came in chat. So I'm just uh, we're picking yeah. on uh, picking yeah. on Chris here because uh, he did say that they booked on Spirit and you know how they nickel and dime you, so they're traveling really light going to this uh, this <sighs> this event. And uh, he should have just flown Southwest. I mean, uh, screw it. You know, <laughs> not for nothing. I could have gotten some really. I mean, like sixty nine dollars to get out to Austin for for the Shroud Convention. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm used to the comforts of you know knowing my plane's taking off on time, knowing that I've already got. You know, my carry on, my personal item, and a check bag included. That I'm not oh, yeah. sitting there trying to figure out what they're going to charge me for what I got with me when I get to the, you know, yep, get to the counter. You're, but it, it, as soon as you realize that your your carry on is uh, an extra like twenty five bucks, um, then you realize you're paying the same price as saying flying. Well, United absolutely, like absolutely. Uh, so. Anyway, I, I, I wound up booking JetBlue, and I still did it for under $200 uh, from here to, uh, with yeah. all the amenities. I got to pick my seat, because they charge you extra for even picking your seat on those flights. Um, so I got my seat reservation, got my luggage all taken care of, and still did it for under 200 bucks. So, yeah. Um, real cheap to fly out to austin for that convention uh of course i can probably fly to vegas from here for probably just as cheap if not cheaper uh just because uh you know old folks from florida like to go to vegas for vacation i don't know but uh what that, never <clears throat> never that's right uh, yeah uh. but now this brings us to uh, some of the other stuff that he started working on and uh, as you saw in the very first clip you saw a little piece of it at the end um oh, there's yeah. some news here also uh, so i'm gonna jump to uh, which one was it 28 was it minutes the, in um i'm thinking was it 28 or the 48 um 28 minutes is the well, we'll, we'll, we'll go to 28 and we'll figure it out we'll, we'll watch okay. both of these 28 here 30 because... which is your your ouch one ouch yeah stuff. yeah ouch again i'm looking ouch. because i have to give a couple talks i'm watching ready oh, for some yeah. ouch. Ouch. actually this wasn't to. uh yeah but we'll play it again here well <clears> should should after after we do this should i give my assessment of what i said before the show no uh, are you sure <laughs> yes <laughs> are you positive i'm i'm pretty positive uh, okay. anyway yeah. um uh, let's, let's go, go ahead and let's click go play. ahead and get this uh, up on screen let's because... go ahead and click play and, and i'm gonna explain my reasoning uh, here in let's a minute see. So. Syndicate, okay. so three two one image. play Kind of looks like Let's see. So that's 256 by 256. So I've got that on there now. I guess I can resize that to 256. Uh, let's see. Too early, Twilight. No, that's going to be horrible. But let me just do a quick. Oops. Do okay. it now. Pour the paint. Pour the paint. Okay, there we go. Bam, done. Let's see what that looks like. Back over to Unity. And Gestra. Uh, this is, I am Chris Spears, uh, tech director on Shroud of the Avatar. But again, as I always point out, titles on the project mean nothing. Everybody does everything and everybody on the project is important. Uh, and I do probably half my stuff as tech, if that. Uh, today I am doing some content creation because I promised some stuff for it and it's the type of thing that I could assign it out to somebody else in the team. But that would not be good because everybody else in the team is just as busy as me. So I figured I'd take this uh, opportunity to do 
a little bit of uh, public work with you guys. And... Then we're getting pretty close already. Now what's wrong with that picture? Let me make this back, that thing there. <laughs> mm. Let me make a... Wait for it. It's gotta be just like a black material. Black. No, not black. Great. I just want black. That is completely wrong. I don't even know what that is. Hold on. Just give me a black. No, I don't want the crafting sign. Okay, this is getting silly here. Hold on, I'm just making a black texture. Uh, oh, and I can't. Uh, you can private message them to me, though, since I already had to go and figure that <clears> out. <throat> find that. And then, yeah, he squirrels here. And then let's jump to the next clip. Because the next clip gets uh, more of this in there. That okay. 4830. 4830. Let's go to that and hit play in three, two, one. Play. Notepad open for the to view the questions that are being logged. So I'll answer yours uh, directly, which is you kind of already have that with the heraldry stuff. That you can already upload your own images. Uh, I would love to get it so you guys could do, you know, have a system similar to that that you could use for painting, uh, for making paintings, so you can create your own paintings and basically have that same tool so you can upload your own art. Uh, so I'm going to just call this syndicate image fine for now. I'm sure they can get me a higher resolution. I'm sure there's some syndicate person out there watching this that will get me a higher resolution image. And also kind of need their... Uh, uh, their permission to use this since I'm sure they have like a copyright or trademark yeah, or whatever thanks. on this. <laughs> a heraldry lamp. That was actually one I started looking into today and I think I can get you a heraldry lamp soon. Uh, it basically would use the same system as this. There's some code I have to write uh, but I didn't see in my quick look into things. I didn't see anything that was going to stop me from doing it, that I would be, a lot, be able to allow you to have heraldry images in there. And in case you want to see what that looks like, let me go grab something here. Again, today's going to be a little different for those who come and watch every day. Oh, let me do a drawing now, and then I'll do another one later. So that, again, the drawing for those who got here late is you're going to get one of these dragon things that I'm creating here. And you can't tell what that is because I'm using just a horrible polygon. Uh, with nothing on it but it's actually a lamp that you'll be able to place that will project some image onto a wall uh, that's what you're winning today so make sure and get in the raffle if you haven't already uh, unlike my normal ones i'll keep your names on record but you won't be able to get one until after the next release after six to nine goes live so i have time to get this in here uh, so i will do a couple of drawings on this guy do, do, do. Now you're raffling up. Raffles. And I'm probably going to come up <clears> with some way to, other way to get these for you. Uh, I threw out on uh, our team channel the idea if I could make something like this. And then we could just say anytime you buy a $100 uh, dollar crown or $100, uh, $10,750 crown or a uh, crown package, you know what it is, uh, that you get like one of these lamps free. To celebrate again for those who don't know this is kind of to cel celebrate the syndicate uh send uh that i'm going to so i'm a little excited about it and even though it's just a single guild event it's a pretty big guild and then uh also to celebrate probably the bigger thing is dragon con is next weekend which again for those who got here late uh richard has been like nine or ten years in a row he's going to miss this year 
unfortunately, uh, because of NASA is <coughs> doing uh, some hmm. big display thing Refreshing. presentation for his dad, uh, who passed away uh, earlier this year. So <coughs> right. uh, NASA can. <coughs> And we can clip that right there. <clears throat> now, of course, uh, watching this early, yeah, I just saw that happen too, folks. Uh, got a hiccup there. So just yeah. uh, bear with me because I don't know what the hell's causing this. <clears throat> but it happens. <clears throat> so we'll just log back in here. But, uh... So Chris and somebody pointed this out, so I went and looked it up and uh, you know, watching him design this dark lamp. Now, we heard a couple things here. Uh, one, he, you know, Jack and I were actually debating certain parts of this before the show. <clears throat> and yeah. he actually did say he planned to reskin it so it didn't look like, like the original dark lamp, uh, which was one. Uh, the other one was that, uh, you know, getting the heraldry uh, aspect of it um, for use and other stuff. But uh, the first thing I got a laugh out of was that he's uh, actually, you know, building this for the syndicate. And, syndicate. And he didn't have prior approval to use the artwork. I mean, I know they're going to give it to him, but it was just funny to see, well, I need their permission. Uh and, of course, uh, this, this now opens up. Um, I'm going to go and just say it out loud. Uh, can't wait to see what we get for Shrouded Avatar International Convention. Since uh, Syndicon's getting theirs and Dragon Con's getting theirs, I guess we're going to get uh, one for Sodacon as You're gonna well. You're going to get something. Right, Chris? Right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but heraldry items... Uh, you know, other ways to do it. He also mentioned, uh, uh, what was the other use for them? There was another use for them. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, <sighs> just several, several different uses for them. And, uh, I just, yeah, I got a kick out of just some of the things he had to say about it. But, uh, yeah. Moving right along. What did you want to say? Uh, well, I, 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 I want to like say my comment that I said before the show, um, because yeah, I mean, it, it's okay. So for one, he's only developing this new thing realistically for Syndicate and uh, Dragon Con, <clears throat> of which. Syndicate, they're going to be doing some 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 talks, but you you don't have a it's it's yeah, going to be buggy. Yeah, it's going now, to be buggy. I mean, you I, look my, at the way that this was designed. It was designed on the fly. Was uh, I thought we weren't allowed to insert <clears throat> text or promote stuff like that with items because we couldn't have text on our heraldry. Yeah. Uh, either in English or in runic. Uh, we weren't allowed to have anything except a descriptor on the cloaks. Uh, yeah. But now we're going to have a lamp that's going to allow text, numbers, le you know, letters, and whatever logos. Uh, yeah, a lot of questionable moves right here with that one piece of, uh, piece of deco, as it may be. And... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, again, uh, we'll we'll cover a little bit more tomorrow and see what you guys and gals yeah. got to think it's... about it. And, uh, you yeah, know, we, we'll see what the feedback we get on it. But uh, I like to see the fact that uh, there's uh, actually going to be more uses coming out of it uh, than just uh, for the one, uh, you know, guild, as it may be, because... Uh, while the syndicate, you know, they've they've got their own. I I think there are several other guilds in this game that have more active player base uh, in the game presence, and uh, are also deserving of uh, you know that said you know type of stuff. But 
Anyway, moving right along, we're running a little yeah. bit behind the time, so we're just going to tell you behind. about little, our little recently retired app that's still available out there. I'm not updating it anymore, but it's still available in all the Play Stores out there. And, of course, you can get all sorts of great information from the uh, NBNN Daily Britannian reading uh, the news and listening to the radio stations. Oops, hate when that happens. And uh, <laughs> checking out stuff like the NBNN Shroudity Avatar Community Calendar brought to you by our good friends at hometownhero.com. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't forget that NBN in intro to the Avatar calendar is hosted on nbnn.info. Just click on the calendar button and you too can look at this aggregated mess of all the Google public calendars related to Shroud that that guy knows about. If you have a Google public calendar related to Shroud and you want it hooked up, you need to email news at nbnn.info. Laz will do something with it eventually. If emailing him is way too difficult and you'd rather send him a message in Discord, he is Lazarus with an onk in Discord. In and his picture, discords. his picture looks like his picture. Some of them, there, it's Lazarus Long. Sometimes it's a, a, a big old penis. I mean, y'all know, know where to find me. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Discord.me slash NBN and easy way. Uh, but yes, um, all times on the community calendar, central time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as nude Britannia time. Monday through Friday, 12s and 6s around the clock. You can always find two idiots interpreting the news so you don't have to when they feel like it with a, a, a little show called Lunch. Or not. With us, yeah. When when we feel like it. Yeah, it's re really what it is. But it's more consistent than anything else in the Shroud of the Avatar community. More consistent. Uh, but yes, uh, 7 o'clock this evening. Last them. That's right. 7 p.m. Uh, is going to be the 70s at 7. At 8, uh, uh, no, Justin is on vacation. So no, she's schizophrenia. not, actually. Wait, uh, what? Wait, she, she changed her mind? She on tonight, and uh, I believe she's also actually DJing a party that's going to begin early. So the 70s at 7 is actually going to be preempted <laughs> for Extra okay. long nurse Justin oh, tonight. Extra on long w nurse Justin. That's right. Uh, okay. so tune Ex in tonight. Extra long and extra hard nurse Justin. Just that go, probing go is going to be thorough. That's right. Uh, may or may not have the 10 o'clock wreck, wackoed womb with Waz's Wad. But at 11 o'clock, the Sarah and Andar show will Part be there. Two. Yes. That's right. And that is our, our community calendar for Don't this. Don't forget you're Thursday. watching Two Idiots Interpret the News right here on nbnn.info. Maybe. I don't even know if I'm still on Twitch at this point in time. Let's no, see. you're not. You're, you're not. Uh, it says I'm streaming. I know I'm streaming uh, yeah. somewhere, but network error. Please try again. But, uh, yes, twitch.tv slash Genesis, twitch.tv slash NBNN News. Catching us in replays mm -hmm. on YouTube and Twitch, and we do appreciate it. The Britannian Mining Company wants you to come check out Black Rock Cove. Black Rock Cove's located in the Quell region next to the town of Exeter, conveniently located next to those mines that you want to be near. If you're looking for crafting goods, you're looking to open a shop, go check out Black Rock Cove today because it's a great place to live. Now, of course, don't forget WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you the latest news and entertainment 24-7 around the clock, including us at 12s and 6s every Monday through Friday. And even when we're not here, replays play. Wake up, New Britannia, every Saturday eve morning. Uh, don't forget, we've got Sister Love every Saturday night at 6. Nurse Justin extended hours tonight. Don't miss it. Shroudmusic.com for all your ABC file needs. If you're looking for some ABC files to get yourself started, go to Shroudmusic.com. If you got any you'd like to share, you can upload your own there as well. 
Caffius is where is out in shroudmarketplace.com because Caffius has got to pay for them braces, man. And if you need wood, Caffius has got all the wood you need, baby. And that's on shroudmarketplace.com <clears throat> where I got to rush here in a minute because, yes, I just sold something on shroudmarketplace.com. I <laughs> love this shit so much because... You just never know when, where, how, why you're going to sell something. And, of course, yeah, you know, everything from Game Gold, Kodos. Jack's going to tell you a little bit about it, real little bit, I, because I time is short. Very, very short. But ShroudMarketplace.com is the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. Register an account, buy stuff, then register that account. And then if you want to sell your stuff, click on Vendor Register registration and you too can be like one of the 150 other players that are registered as vendors each vendor is responsible for setting their own prices and maintaining their own inventory so you get all kinds of great things and let's just say unlike the official forums a few thousand transactions and no chargeback so far mm -hmm. your fingers. yeah so everything is being delivered everything is being sold and you know what you you got things where you cannot some some vendors have things like the make an offer button where you too can suggest a price um anything and everything that is not a bannable offense so you can end up with accounts game gold crafting services uh deco services leveling services wedding services anything and everything at shroudmarketplace.com you need mm. to do yourself a favor go register buy stuff That's for me that's right <clears throat> But yes, don't forget, is where. check out ShroudMarketplace.com for all your vendable goods. Uh, of course, uh, can't roll the credits because it uh, tells me I'm not connected even though uh, I'm connected. Uh, so uh, we're going to just pull this last giveaway. Let's see if we can for all those who are there. Mm -hmm. And uh, do that real quick. So Venetrix, you've won the... Uh, Two emotes, I'll get those out to you. We'll be back with more tomorrow, right here on NBNN. Till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And, and we are NBNN. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.